What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 23. Where we left off, um, Seijo and Karasuno are playing against each other. Karasuno won the first set, uh, Seijo won the second set, and so we're going into the third set. Hopefully Karasuno can pull this off. Honestly, I'm not sure they're going to. I, I, I feel like they're going to lose. I don't want them to. I don't know. I hope they don't. Because I feel like the show is more about them than any other team. But I, I don't know. I almost feel like it's just fated for Seijo to go up against uh, Shira Torizawa. So I'm just... I can't make up my mind. But I guess there's only one way to find out. I think they're going to wrap up this match, though, this episode. I think we're going to actually see the, um, the whole set uh, from start to finish. So... Or at least I'm hoping. But yeah, anyway, uh, keep, keeping it short. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. <clears throat> the link for that's in the description below. So please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's good, man. Ugh. Nice. Oh, I didn't think he got that. Nice, and it went out. Ha <laughs> ha. Tanaka. She's so cute. Look at Yachi. You two, cut it out. <laughs> Did it right back to them. Oh. What the fuck was this? Oh, was it? Was it just me? That thing just like was a total curved ball, was it not? <laughs> so, does Tanaka make you nervous then? Or is it just that like they're in a like, competition with each other? I don't know, anyway. Are you gonna become my new favorite character? I 
voice like this. No. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Aww. He's liked it since he was a kid. <sighs> nice. No, right when they give them a backstory, that's when they start making a comeback. Did Kirasuno call timeout? Oh, they're switching him out. Oh, look at- oh, whoa! Hmm. Okay, makes sense. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, he said he won't be back. Okay. Oh, man. More charity at that moment. That's all right. It's not a mistake. Charity is the same as respect. コートにいる以上、得点も失点もチームのものだろう。頼むから、力貸してくれよ。おらい、センター。I like the little speech he gave him there. Nice n o y a Well, the longer you guys play together, the more easily you're going to be able to read each other. Oh, wow. Guess he pulled himself together quickly. They are. Oh. Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.Oh.
わかってるよ先生うちのチームの総力はこんなもんじゃねえよもうお母さんもう一本ないと really? Shows a little too close to the net. <laughs> Slam it down. Oh. Nice show. Nice. You guys need to start doing that from now on. That's what you need to start doing. Yo. Show. You guys just figured something out unintentionally. When you make a mistake and you turn that into a fucking strength, let's go. Ooh, my boys. My boys. My voice. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start. Oh my god, this needs to go. Uh, what the f is this? Ugh. One thing about having bangs. My god. <laughs> mm, whatever, it's fine. Well. It was a good match. It was a good um, episode. You know, you, you get to see uh, Mad Dog Kiyotani. Is that his name? You get to see his backstory. And I really hate when you do this to me. <laughs> Thank you. Why do you have to make me fall in love with every single character? Like, it's impossible, right? But clearly it's not because you do it every time. Oh! It makes me want to rip my hair out. Like, no, I just want to root for my team. I just want to love my team and not have to care about anyone else. I always feel so conflicted. I'm like, I want them to win, but go Sejo, go Date, go, go. Uh, what's their name? Um, oh, I can't remember. Nekoma. Like, I just root for everybody. Oh, I'm such a sucker. Um, hmm. But yeah, it, uh, he's probably got like, he's just got like social, uh, mm, let me see, how do I want to phrase it? Uh, I relate to him. It seems like he struggles with um, socializing with other people and just social skills. He just lacks some in general, but, and I think that's why he practiced alone. It's like, it's just practicing with his team. There's just a lot more pressure there. Um... And um, it can be really uh, exhausting interacting with other people. Uh, and I speak from experience, you know, it's hard. It's hard. And so I think maybe that was part of it for him. Um, and so he's like, I'd rather just practice alone. Like I can do better by myself. I don't need to practice with the team. And I'll just sh show up to the games and like, I'll be fine. Or well, he showed up to practices after a while because the guy talked him into it. Told him, you know, there's only so far you can go on your own. You know, it's a team sport, dude. At the end of the day, you have to eventually go back to your team. You got to play with your team. You got to face them head on. I like that. Um, it, it may be harder for some people to socialize, but that doesn't mean that you should completely avoid it. Um... Because I think the more that you do it, the better you'll get at it, and the more comfortable you'll be with it. Um, I'm talking to myself here. So, yeah. Um, I'm proud of him. And I'm proud of Tadashi, too. Like, pushing yourself and not running away, which is something I do all the time with everything. And I don't like that about myself, so I needed to change that. Easier said than done. Um, 
so yeah, I just these last two episodes were just really I I felt I was able to relate to these two characters quite a bit. Uh so I was getting emotional. If you I don't know if you guys noticed that. But um the match though, you know, it's so back and forth. It was just like I'm like I don't know who's going to win this match. It's so neck and neck the whole time and they're both extraordinary teams i just i really don't know who's gonna pull off the win gotta give it to suki he was able to notice that mad dog had that little thing going on with tanaka like i don't know how to describe it exactly like tanaka was kind of i don't know if it was like intimidating him or getting in his head kind of like mad dog kind of felt like he had to i don't know he was in this like little their own private little competition going on so he was getting kind of in his head um yeah, I think he felt a little insecure, inferior, and it was getting to him. And you saw that. You saw that in the way that he was playing. It was, it was, he wasn't playing as well. So you take him out, you give him a timeout, you let him cool his head. The teammate, I don't know his name, kind of gives him sort of, um, I guess you could call it like tough love, right? And it worked. I didn't think that would work on someone like him. I thought, you know, he's already beating himself up enough. Maybe he needs, like, a softer approach. But it worked. You know, he's just being straight up honest. Like, hey, you know, you just left. And, you know, granted, he was practicing. But they don't know what you're doing. They think you're blowing off practice. But I like how, uh, man, uh, Oikawa was able to notice, you know, very observant. Him and Tsukishima this episode were both very observant. Um able to read people very well anyway notice like mm, those aren't the movements of someone who hasn't been practicing so but granted that doesn't look great to your teammates like they think you're just blowing it off and oh you, you just get to come back whenever you feel like it and you're a starting player like there are those of us that are here every practice every week every day and we're not starting players it, 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 it has to be a shitty feeling um, so, but I like that he was straight up honest, like, hey, you're lucky, a lot of us would kill to be a starter, don't, don't take advantage of that, and just really appreciate the position that you're in, don't get in your head, don't screw it up for us with the third years, mm. unnecessary pressure, but I get where I, I get it it was just all to get him out of his head but because you know i like how earlier in the match i forgot who was on uh, alba joe's side but um oikawa was it oikawa i think it or maybe it wasn't maybe it was someone else they were like uh don't worry about it bro like don't just worry about mm, watching the ball i thought they were gonna say just worry about yourself and how well you're playing don't think about anybody else or how you're your playing affects the team, blah, blah, blah. And then it was kind of funny how they kind of flipped that on its head and you have someone else kind of telling one of their teammates, hey, the shittier you play, or the more in your head you get, the worse you play, that that's going to affect us as a team. So pull your head out of your ass and let's go. <laughs> so anyway, different people, different approaches, right? Um, But yeah, that thing at the end that show in Kageyama did, I'll wrap things up there. Being closer to the net and dumping it Obviously, you probably can't be re very repetitive with that because they'll read that. But okay, you're just doing the same move over and over and over. But that might be a new tactic for you guys to utilize. Another tool in your tool belt. Another weapon in your arsenal? <laughs> Is that how it goes? I don't know. Anyway. But yeah. I got my stomach. I'm sorry. Oh, it keeps like gurgling. I don't know if you guys have been able to hear that. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.